Well, now that we've got our roller cart unpacked, let's get started. On the top left, we've got our bright yellow roller cart tub. Just below that to the left, we've got our W-05 front wheel caster. Just to the right of that, we have the W-22 roller cart handle, followed by two T-02 horizontal rails right and left. These join the two end frames together, followed by W-10 hitch tongue assembly. Next, just to the right of that, is the W-21 front frame assembly. And just behind that, to the left, is the W-20 rear frame assembly. There is also a front steer tire and two rear tires. And just in front of the other tires are a W-01 rear outside mounting plate, a W-02 front outside mounting plate, along with the two inside plates, P-01 and P-04, and the locking pin bolt along with various bolts for assembling your cart. Now let's get started on the assembly. We're gonna take the front frame assembly and the locking pin bolt mounting this on top of it with our already self-tap plate. So take our Phillips head bolts and there'll be some locking washers you'll wanna put down underneath each one of these. We'll go ahead and tighten these down firmly. Once we get these tightened all the way, we're gonna lay that rear frame down on the ground with the legs sticking up. We can slip our horizontal rails into the end frame here. And then we'll go ahead and put in our bolts with our locking nuts. Go ahead and tighten those down firmly. There'll be one on all four corners here. Then go ahead and take the front frame assembly and we'll go ahead and mount that right on top of these horizontal legs. Once again, take your quarter inch bolts, select them in through the holes here. Tighten the nylock nuts down using your 7 16 wrench. Next, let's grab our front wheel and the front wheel caster. There's about a six inch bolt that's gonna go ahead and slide through. That'll be our axle. And once again, with a locking nut, go ahead and put that on there. You can use an open end adjustable wrench to tighten this down, but don't over tighten it. You, you want that wheel to be able to spin freely. There's a big washer that goes on top of that wheel caster. See, just go ahead and slip that big bolt right up through the front of the frame there. And there's another Loctite nut. Go ahead and tighten that down just until the bolts uh, showing some thread through the nylock there. You can go ahead and take the tongue yoke or the trailer hitch and you can see there's three sets of holes there. You can go ahead and put that in whatever height you need to depending on how high your quad sits off the ground or your lawnmower. Install that and tighten that bolt down with the locking nut. Now that we got that done, let's grab our handle and there's about a three inch long bolt. You're going to go ahead and slip right in the, the hitch here at the back of the handle and then a little bit more forward of that there'll be uh, a removable pin. You can go ahead and put that pin in there. And when you're going to tow with your, your lawnmower, you just pull that pin out and fold the handle out of the way. And then you can use that same pin as, uh, as your, your hitch pin. Next, let's install the rear tires. You're gonna take, it's about a six inch long bolt that's used for the axle. Go ahead and just slip that in. And then there's a 5 8 locking nut. You're going to want to go ahead and put that on there. Tighten it down with your open end or adjustable wrench. Don't over tighten these either because it'll you can bind the tires up just to the point where the thread comes through the locking nut. And then we'll go ahead and go over to the other tire doing the same process. Next, let's take the front outside mounting plate. And that'll just easily slide right in the hole there. Then we've got some quarter inch bolts here. Put those onto the inside mounting plates. Go ahead and press those in and start the nut. 
These are also self-locking nuts. So let's get all four of those on. Now we'll go ahead and use our 7 16 box hand wrench and tighten those down. Next, we'll grab our rear outside mounting plate, slip that in the hole, grab our inside mounting plate. And these are cut out so the little carriage bolts fit right in there. Go ahead and shove the bolts in each hole here. And then we'll go ahead and put our nuts on. And once again, taking our 7 16 open end wrench or adjustable wrench, tighten these down firmly till the bolt comes flush with the uh, locking nylocks. Next, go ahead and take the tub, set it inside the frame on its side here, and then you can take the bolts that join the tub to the frame. And when you put these bolts in, only put them in just flush to the end of those mounting plates. That way, if you're by yourself, you can just, like this, pick the tub up, slip that bolt in the front, come back down to the end, slip the bolt in the back, then you can finish it off by putting your locking nut on the front, tightening that down with your adjustable wrenches, go to the back, put your locking nut on, and you're done. You're ready to go use your new roller cart.